Hi friends, I am Harshal Thakar and today I am going to teach you uh, one interesting topic and this is about maths, mathematics. It is an interesting subject. Today uh, we are going to learn about square root. How to find square root of perfect square number within 10 seconds. Can you imagine? You can't. But you can after watching this video so let's learn and then comment if any and uh, suggest me something new I will teach you hi friends so as I promised let's uh, go for how to find square root now in this matter uh, for that you have to do a simple thing you have to remember uh, perfect squares from numbers 1 to 10 like 1 square is equal to 1 2 square is equal to 4 3 square is equal to 9 4 square is equal to 16 5 square is equal to 25 6 square is equal to 36 7 square is equal to 49 8 square is equal to 64 uh, 9 square is equal to 81 and 10 square is equal to 100 now you have to mug up this last digits of like 1 square is equal to 1, last digit is 1. 3 square is equal to 9, last digit is obviously 9. 5 square is equal to 25, last digit is obviously 5. 6 square is equal to 36, last digit is 6. Now see, uh, at last 4 comes from squares of 2 and uh, 8. Like this, so 1496569410. It is easy to remember. You do practice and then you can remember it in within a second. So, now our first example is like if we have given 576, what is the square root of 576? For this, you have to consider a last digit. See, in this method, where we can find last digit. So, 4 square is 16 and 6 square is 36. So, the last digit must be from 4 and 6. So, write down 4, oblique 6. Now, we have to now uh, forget this last two digits, 76. Let's forget 4 within a while. Now, uh, concentrate on 5. So, 5 came you have to find 5 came between which perfect squares I mean which square root of perfect number I mean 2 square is equal to 4 and 3 square is equal to 9 so it is lying between 2 square and 3 square now we have to take the lesser number so 2 so our first digit of square root will be 2 okay now we have to find the last digit for that this number remember this number we have to multiply this number from 2 plus 1 so is equal to 2 into 3 is equal to 6 now see 6 is greater than 4 I mean greater than 5 or less than 5 so it is greater than 5 we have to consider this digit 6 is always greater than this number so if it is then we have to take the smaller one like this is less than 6 so you have to consider 4 so 4 so 24 is our answer you don't get it now we will take another example now see this is the last example and we will do it within 10 seconds <clears throat> how see find the perfect square root of number 676 what will be the number so last it is 6 so here it is between 4 and 6 so write down 4 oblique 6 now uh, 
let's talk about first digit six so six is lying between two square is root four and three square is root nine so consider the lowest number i mean two so write down two now uh, two is here now we have to multiply two into two plus one is equal to six right now this six is less than six or greater than six no it is equal to six so if it is equal to six then we have to consider the largest number so largest number between four and six is six so 26 is our answer this is so simple consider practice and then you can do this matter and you can apply this matter uh, in 10 seconds so thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more interesting videos.